Hey y'all, welcome back to Mudged Up Guitars. Today we got something a little different for you, a bass. Uh, this is actually my first bass. Uh, I got way back when I was a teenager and as a young mudged up teenager, once I got a newer bass that was a little nicer, I thought it would be a good idea to rip the frets out of this guy and make it into a fretless like Jocko. Um, <laughs> fortunately, future me has the knowledge that past me did not have to uh, fix the job that past me did so i've uh sanded down the neck on this guy actually i re-radiused it while i did that to uh give it the same radius as a typical jazz bass as opposed to the flatter radius that this epiphone ripoff came with rounded off the corners for a nice feel um all of the frets are filled in with white uh wood putty so you can still see all of the fret lines um, it even looks to the audience quite like you have frets, uh, but it is, in fact, a fretless bass. Um, some other notable features on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, back of the neck is sanded smooth, so a nice satin finish, not as sticky as the nitro finish that was originally on it. Um, I did leave a little bit of the nitro finish on the bottom edge here um, when you need that extra little bit of grip on the neck to to you know, fret a difficult chord or something, it's handy to have a little bit of extra traction there because this neck is very slick. Um, uh, obviously, the body has had some work to it. It was originally uh, an all-black jazz bass ripoff uh, that passed me, uh, gave a matching color to his car, so a nice metallic blue finish over the black. Um, so I've taken down the finish a little bit, so now it's a... Uh, blue over black with some nice exposed natural wood um all sanded down to uh 400 grit and then finished off with uh four aught steel wool so nice smooth finish all around but matted out so it's not all shiny and ugly uh i also cut a new pick guard for this out of a sheet of aluminum and then i gave it a nice wire brushing to give it a little bit of a nautical mo motif as you'll notice your thumb rest on this guy is actually uh, a silver solder in the shape of a whale. So it's a nice, very comfortable thumb guard, very natural position. Uh, you have both the hunch of his back and the, the crest of his tail to put your thumb in there. Um, that's all uh, press fit in. So it's hand filed to fit so tight, doesn't actually need screws. So it fits on there really nicely. Uh, also routed out an extra hole for a middle position pickup here. Um, so the wiring is a little different than your usual jazz bass. You'll notice there's also an added switch here. Uh, this added switch controls the configuration of these rear two pickups. Um, in the neck position, we have a standard Fender jazz bass pickup. Uh, in the back, we've got a vintage 74 jazz bass pickups. When the switch is in the front position, you're dealing with the middle pickup. When it's in the rear position, you're dealing with the typical bridge position of a standard jazz bass. But when it's in the center position of this switch, um, you've actually connected these guys together in series. So it gives you a humbucking effect and uh, a little extra volume uh, out of this guy. So the controls are a little different too. Uh, they're set up with 500k pots to give you a little bit brighter of a tone. Um, neck volume, bridge volume, and master tone. Uh, the master tone knob here has both a 0 0.33 microfarad paper wax capacitor and a 0 0.022 microfarad um, uh, mylar capacitor. Um, so this actually gives you a very interesting tone shape on the uh, high end that has kind of a soft knee to it, but a nice steady curve, um, giving you kind of the best of both worlds with the paper wax for character and the mylar for um, consistency. Uh, yeah, whale tail sanded into the back just for aesthetic effect and to go with the nice nautical theme. Uh, also, the bridge has been recessed into the body to accommodate for the extra wood that's been taken off of the neck. Um, so nice, smooth playing. Right now, I have uh, half rounds on it, 
Um, it will take round wound strings without uh, killing the fretboard because that's been finished with tongue oil as all the other exposed wood has. Um, and it'll obviously take flat wounds as well. I just kind of like that middle ground of the round wound. So that's what's on it now. So let's give you a little demo here. Uh, I am running today through the SANS Amp Bass Driver DI, uh, which is a central recording equipment for any bass player. Um, and that's just going straight into the front of my little Focusrite interface. Uh, got a little tone dialed up here, but we're, we're mostly all knobs at noon. Uh, so let's start uh, with the front position pickup. Um, then I'll turn that down and move to the rear with the middle pickup first, then the rear pickup, then them in series, and I'll show you the tone knob along the way. Um, all apologies for my uh, fretless bass playing skills um, coming up here. Uh, although I learned to properly build a fretless bass, I did not learn to properly play a fretless bass. So sorry about that. A little pop coming up, and then we'll do some tone. All right, also that was the mudged up blue whale. Uh, thank you for your time. <laughs> 